In this video, we'll look at six causes of chest pain where you'll have to go to the hospital as soon as possible. Up next. I'm Dr. John, board certified in internal medicine as well as geriatric medicine. This channel is here to promote your health and your well being. Think your health. This is the most serious cause of chest pain and occurs when there's a sudden blockage in one of the arteries that supplies blood to the heart. It is like a dam suddenly blocking a river, causing the water to back up and potentially flooding the surrounding areas. Similarly, when there's a blockage in a coronary artery, the blood supply to the heart muscle is reduced, causing chest pain. This can be a medical emergency and requires urgent attention. Patients with ACS, acute coronary syndrome, often have chest pain symptoms at rest, new onset chest pain, or chest pain that is unpredictable or progressive. We refer to this type of chest pain as angina. Classic symptoms of angina include squeezing, pressure like or a heavy sensation in the chest that can radiate to the left arm, shoulder, back, neck, jaw or stomach. Other symptoms may include shortness of breath, sweating, nausea, lightheadedness or palpitations. Typically, these symptoms last for several minutes. Please know that older adults, women and diabetics may present with atypical symptoms without chest pain. The presenting symptoms might only be fatigue, shortness of breath or palpitations. This is rare, but a potentially life-threatening condition where the inner layer of the aorta, the largest artery in the body, tears and blood flows into the space between the layers. It can be compared to a tire blowing out where the inner lining tears and air rushes into the space between the layers. This can cause severe chest pain and back pain that feels like a tearing or ripping sensation. Patients with aortic dissection typically present with acute chest pain and back pain that is severe and sharp and may have a, a ripping or tearing quality. Pain can radiate anywhere in the chest or into the abdomen. Other symptoms may include shortness of breath, rapid heartbeat, and high blood pressure, or even neurological deficits. Immediate medical attention is needed to prevent further damage. This is a blockage of the arteries in the lungs caused by a blood clot that has traveled from another part of the body, most commonly the legs. It is like a roadblock on a highway where traffic can no longer flow freely. In the case of a pulmonary embolism, blood flow to the lungs is obstructed, causing chest pain, shortness of breath, and coughing. It is important to identify and treat a pulmonary embolism quickly to prevent further complications. Other common symptoms of pulmonary embolism include pleuritic chest pain, which just means sharp pain that worsens whilst breathing, rapid heart rate, which manifests as palpitations, low blood pressure, sweating or fainting. And if you're interested in a video looking at rare causes of chest pain, click right here. This occurs when air gets trapped in the space between the lungs and the chest wall, causing the lung to collapse and putting pressure on the heart and other organs. It is like a balloon that has overinflated and is about to burst. This can cause sudden onset of severe chest pain, difficulty breathing, and a rapid heart rate. Hemodynamic compromise, such as low blood pressure or rapid heart rate, is an ominous sign and points to an impending cardiopulmonary collapse. It is a medical emergency and requires immediate attention to relieve the pressure and prevent further complications. This is a rare but serious condition where the esophagus, the tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach, tears or ruptures. It can be compared to a water hose that bursts, causing water to spray out. In the case of an esophageal rupture, stomach acid and food can leak into the chest, causing severe chest pain and difficulty swallowing. Spontaneous perforation of the esophagus caused by excessive straining or vomiting. 
since it's usually seen in middle-aged men who've consumed a lot of alcohol or individuals with a history of bulimia. Once again, immediate medical attention is needed to prevent further damage. This occurs when fluid builds up in the sac surrounding the heart, putting pressure on the heart and preventing it from pumping effectively. It's like a balloon that is being squeezed, preventing air from flowing in or out. This can cause chest pain, shortness of breath, and a rapid heart rate. It is a medical emergency and requires immediate attention to relieve the pressure and prevent further damage. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. Have a good day and thank your health. Eight minutes, not bad. I did it, in, I think I did it nearly, nearly in one go, nearly in one go. Take the microphone off. Why is it stuck here?